Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is a replay of a video that I posted the other day, but I mistakenly uh, thought that uh, there were UFOs flying towards it when it was actually the uh, Romanian military firing at this object, so I'll replay that one. Uh, let's see, I also have this um, another heads-up display of a UFO, but you know, in the comments, some guy was saying that this is uh, that he made it, but I'm not too sure about that. Uh, let's see. Also, have this one from a uh, UFO sightings daily. Uh, I think his name is Scott Waring or something, but he caught this giant object here that uh, hung around the sun for 20 minutes before leaving. Now, yeah, you can see that object there. He says it's probably about the size of Jupiter, but it actually came into this spot, and uh, you can see what. Uh, what Earth actually looks like compared to that thing. Also, I have this uh, video from 2020 of a cigar-shaped or cylinder-shaped UFO. And, man, I'm telling you, there's a ton of these out there. Uh, here, yeah, here's one here of a, um, another cigar-shaped craft uh, seen in the Orion Nebula. This is uh, from TikTok. Uh, father captured some strange lights in the sky. And uh, this is the old footage from uh, Skinny Bob, called, of the uh, Gray Alien. Uh, also have this clip from Luis Elizondo. Uh, I think this was taken from some uh, podcast. But in it, you know, he talks about, um, about questioning everything we've been taught. And, uh, you know, coming to the realization that everything we've been taught is not necessarily true, which I think is him trying to um, allude to the fact that, you know, we're not the only species on this planet. And then last is this video about a possible pole shift happening. Uh, according to this guy, he says we only have 14 months left based on the uh, distance that, you know, that the uh, magnetic north pole has been moving um, they've been you know tracking it and uh, apparently once it goes past this 40 degree mark it's supposed to uh, be be bad it's supposed to be really be bad but anyways um let's go to this video here you yeah, know I had posted this video previously and I thought that it was a a, um, a like some other UFO is flying towards this one but um, actually, according to this video, it was the uh, Romanian military firing missiles at it. Again, and how, you know, how stupid can we be? Anyways, check this out. I want to present these images captured in Romania, where an unidentified flying object is observed over the sea there. You can clearly see how they shoot this object, then it disappears. A few minutes later, it appears in the night, and they shoot again. Shoot well, who can think a general who ordered the shoot? Let's see if we're going to have a surprise one of these days. Yeah, imagine the stupidity of this person, right? You, you see something in the sky that's, I mean, it's obviously it's some type of a advanced craft and your decision is to shoot at it? Silly humans. Anyways, um, check out this one here. Yeah, like I said, in this one, the guy is saying... Um, that he made it. He says, I make this post because a few day, days ago, someone uploaded a video similar to the gimbal and I share it so you can see that there are more fake videos like this. And he says, comparison, yes, I use paint. So now, now the guy is saying that he used paint to make this video, but I'm not convinced that he did that. Anyways, that's that. Yeah, I mean, I understand how counterintelligence works. You know, counterintelligence, um, they will try and put fake information or, or fake footage or fake evidence in with valid evidence in order to try and discredit it all. Or, you know, they can claim that something is that that's actually real is fake. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about this one. But anyways, link will be in the description. Uh, yeah, this is from um, Scott C. Waring on his UFO Sightings Daily site. And according to him, this thing uh, moves into position. And, you know, and he actually he goes through in the beginning. Uh, let's see. Here, he really um, sharpens it up so you can see that there's definitely something there. But um, 
he says that it uh, it it jumps it jumps from one spot to another and then hung out for like 20 minutes so this definitely wasn't uh, a planet you know orbiting the sun it was something that moved into position and then moved back out let me just play a little bit of this the measurement the difference over here and you have to put the time in the time comes over here if you want to put the time in you got to click up here observation date then you come over and change the date you come over and change the time but you have to hit observation date okay let's look at this video in other scales but in this one notice the earth is here do you see that little tiny dot here's the object the object UFO, which I believe to be an energy entity, a omnipotent godlike being. Anyways, I don't want to play too much of this video. You know, you have to uh, go to his channel and check it out. But yeah, but he actually sees this thing or, you know, let me just play that part where he where it actually moves in. I think it's like right around here. Original video, as you see down here, is from helioviewer.org. And the time is right here. There's some more time frame covering it. But the date is basically, um, the date is 8 with 43 seconds. Okay, so it, it's early uh, on the on the ninth day. On the ninth day, sorry, not eighth day. And you see the object right here. Now, it's in slow motion. So let me hit it. Watch this. A second it's almost there there it is and it moved twice did you see that it moved. anyways yeah i don't want to again i don't want to play too much of this video go to his um channel to check it out and you know and uh like he explains in it if you want to see this thing yourself you know you can go to the helioviewer.org put in those dates and see it for yourself so you know this isn't anything that's fake or something that uh you know someone hacked this is something that's actually happening out there and this isn't the first time that people have seen objects that are bigger than our planet maneuvering, maneuvering around the sun, hanging out and then leaving. OK, I know some people aren't able to uh, accept that reality, but um, it's happening. Next video. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this has got to be our underwater neighbors, you know, because there are so many videos of, of uh, crafts like this flying around. I did a simple search for cylinder UFO or cigar shaped UFO, and there are literally hundreds of videos. People are capturing these things. And, you know, I also made a video, um, you know, and this one here, I think uh, after I watched this video, uh, I mean, a similar one a couple of years ago, I, I went on Google Earth and, you know, just did a search uh, of the of the uh, space, Google space. I don't know what the heck that's called, but, you know, you can look and see all the stars. I cannot tell you the number of uh, crafts like this that I spotted, like in less than 20 minutes. I I swear I, I found like um, five or six of them. You know, I'll make sure to put a, a link to it uh, somewhere in here. So you can click on it and check it out. I've made videos myself about this stuff. So these things are out there. Anyways, check this out. Anyways, that's that. You know, it's a just a two and a half minute video. Check it out. And there's another cigar shaped UFO that was um, captured in the Orion Nebula. Check this out. Billions of planets residing within the Milky Way galaxy alone. It's important that we keep an open mind when it comes to objects like this especially when they don't match typical space objects. Whether the object that was photographed in the Orion Nebula is the same thing as Oumuamua is up for debate. But one thing that's for certain is that the two objects share the same overall look.
They said the following. This is not the first time and definitely not the last time as I search the night skies for galaxies and nebulas. The truth is out there. End quote. They also submitted the photograph to move on. Anyways, that's that. Uh, there's a bunch of these things out there. And then, you know, I'll put a link to uh, my video that I made about them. Uh, let's go to this one here. This was uh, from TikTok. You can see there's um, this, you know, a circle of light in the sky. Like, I don't think I can make this uh, video any bigger, unfortunately. So just check this out. I'm shooting a video of this in Walmart parking lot. And it's a perfect circle with the lights around it in the parking lot. This is a fake video. You can see my kids in the parking lot. This is a fake video. I'm shooting a video of this in Walmart parking lot. And it's a perfect circle with the lights around it in the parking lot. This is a fake video. You can see my kids in the parking lot. This is a fake video. Anyways, let me stop that there. Yeah, you know, uh, there's these types of crafts are showing up a lot, it seems. Anyways, a uh, link will be in the description. Let's go to this video here. This is the uh, the famous Skinny Bob video. And, uh, you know, one thing I want to point out, right? This, this being is not wearing any kind of life support system. He's breathing our air. And then, you know, here at the end, uh, when you see his buddies who um, have just landed and you know gotten off their uh, their ship, they're walking. They're they're not wearing life support systems either. You know, I'm going to take a chance and go ahead and try and play this whole thing. Uh, one quick thing to point out: watch when he blinks. Okay, so if you think this is CGI, no. Back then, there's no way they did uh, CGI like this. Did you see that blinking? Now here's his buddies. Now here, now this footage, you know, I'm not too sure if this is real though, because I have seen photos of a production team that um, shot something similar to this again i'm not i think they might be two different videos but i am positive that i saw a, a web page that showed the production team that um sh shot something similar again this could be real i am so, you know i know a lot of people say that it's fake uh possible very possible Yeah, see, in this section, you can see that, you know, the uh, being actually moving. I think he moves his, his lips, but uh, yeah, you can see him, you know, shaking his head. Anyways, that's as much as I want to play that. You know, the one thing I've, you know, I found out about the internet is you cannot fool the internet, right? If you put out a fake video, the internet is going to find out. And you know how I know? Look at all the videos that I've, that I've posted, all right? Every single video that I've posted, I've watched. Every article that I've posted, I've read. So I've been doing this a long time, right? If it's a fake, the internet 
always finds out. If no one can claim that this is fake or provide a link to show the, the production company or the, you know, the digital artist that made it, it's most likely because it's real. Anyways, a link to this will be in the description. Oh yeah, this one uh, from Luis Elizondo, I think it was taken from some podcast. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and play the whole thing uh, because I think what he says is important. But again, you know, you have to read between the lines. Again, I, I understand where Luis Elizondo is coming from. He, he is still under um, non-disclosure agreements or whatever. You know, he's still in an, or I don't know if he's still an employee, but he's still being held to um, certain uh, disclosure requirements. There are things he cannot talk about. And as long as you, you understand that and you have the intellectual capacity to read between the lines, you get to you get to or you come to the realization that he's trying to let you know that we are not the top dog on this planet. It's obvious there are other advanced beings on this planet. But anyways, uh, let me just uh, play this video. whether it's through Sunday school or through regular formal education in school or what our political leaders have told us. And yes, even maybe our mothers and fathers around the dinner table have told us or maybe at bedtime um, about, about who we are, right? Our background and our past. What if all of that turned out to be not entirely accurate? In fact, the very history of, of our species, um, the meaning what it means to be a human being in our place in this universe. What if all that is now in question? What if it turns out that a lot of the things that we thought were one way are, are, are we prepared to have that honest question with ourselves? Are we prepared to to recognize that we're not at the top of the food chain, that we're not the alpha predator, that we are maybe somewhere in the middle. Uh, yeah, so basically what he's saying is that we're not, you know, we are not alone on the planet. And, you know, what amazes me is that there are so many people or educated people with degrees who think they're so goddamn smart, who still are in denial about the existence of of it you know of extraterrestrials or that there's a possibility of um other life forms in the universe you know um the other day i listened to one of these uh, ufo podcasts and they had these two scientists on and both of these scientists don't think uf or aliens exist but They've said that if they do exist, that, that, you know, they live too far away and that there's no way they could get to us, you know, as if, you know, some, some civilization that has existed for thousands, if not millions of years are going to be just as stupid as us. There is nothing about the space around our planet that makes our planet unique. All right. As, as you know, we don't even have a word for the number of stars that are out there so of course there are there's other planets out there we've you know we, we're starting to discover them now you know what 100 years ago most scientists said that there are there aren't any other planets out there scientists right but today we know that that's not true that there's you know hundreds we, so far we've discovered hundreds of additional planets out there right so obviously science can get it wrong but the fact is, we have over 4,000 years of reports, eyewitness accounts of people seeing objects, you know, flying around in our sky, objects cruising around in our oceans. You know, we have people who are being abducted. We have these cow mutilations, right? We have people disappearing in our national parks and forests that you know something is going on that we so far aren't aware of or, or a lot of people just refuse to acknowledge or accept but there are 
things in the universe, things on this planet that, that defy what we consider to be reality, right? Um, yeah, I've been doing this a long time, right? You know, when, when YouTube first came out, the, the, things, the things that I saw that, you know, you can't find these videos anymore. You know, after, after YouTube was corporatized, uh, they scrubbed, they scrubbed the internet or, or YouTube of um, some very compelling footage that after I saw it, you know, I had to rearrange and reevaluate my belief system because what, because I believe what I saw was real. And like I said, you know, th there are videos that I thought were real. Later on, I found out they're not real. You cannot fool the internet, right? If you put something out there that's a hoax, the internet is going to find out. So if things that are put out, for instance, the, the skinny Bob videos, Okay, so far there hasn't been a single person that, that has proven that some production company or some digital artist made this. So I'm gonna conclude that it's real because yeah, because no one has has proven this to be a fake. You know, so until someone can can provide me a link or you know some evidence that that proves that somebody made this, I'm going to assume that this is real. Anyways, uh, link to all this stuff will be in the description. Now, um, this last video here is about the uh, possible pole shift that's going on. And I think a lot of the strangeness that's going on on our planet right now is a, is a result of um, the planet getting ready to, to uh, shift its magnetic poles. You know, uh, according to history, uh, the the poles generally flip every 200 to 300,000 years, but um, the last time it did shift was 780,000, approximately 780,000 years ago. I've, you know, I've heard uh, different uh, numbers, but you know, somewhere close to that. But uh, magnetic north is definitely moving, and something is definitely, uh, some strangeness is going on internally in our planet. But anyways, check out what this guy has to say. To all the people that have been supporting us, um, whilst we monitor one of the rarest anomalies ever recorded by humans, human beings have never gone through a completed magnetic reversal before. We wasn't here 780,000 years ago, so you know we certainly didn't record it, and we wasn't here to do that or know what happened. Does a magnetic reversal lead to possible extinctions of animals in the past? Will we survive a magnetic reversal? We don't know because we just simply have never been through one. One thing for sure though is that when we start to enter those weak field lines, our magnetosphere will start to reduce in field strength and that means our primary protection from cosmic rays will start to slowly shut down and weaken. That means we could see more cancer rates increase, we could see more heart attacks because we know that these cosmic rays uh, lead to cos um, uh, cardiac arrhythmias. So, you know, it is a really important time that we are in right now and we are ever more closer than we ever have been and over the next 14 months it's just going to be one of those things to see you know what goes on from that point on it'll be a very exciting time in another uh, 14 months you know if we start to see a massive uptick in the speed of migration of the magnetic north pole because no other scientist has theoretically suggested that this earth acts just like you know experiments conducted with magnets and compasses but that is exactly what we found in the experiments stop that right there yeah and uh one thing folks the, the mainstream media they're not going to report this and, and even, even if we do start seeing some crazy uh weather conditions and you know other craziness uh, happening like with you know the, with all the animals that use the uh, 
magnetic field of the planet to uh, to travel, and you know that uh, this reversal is going to um, impact them. They're not going to mainstream media is not going to tell you it's because of a magnetic pole reversal. They're they're going to come up with every, any other uh, reason. They're going to yeah they're going to come up with a whole bunch of other lies to try and explain away what's what's happening. But I think uh, this magnetic pole reversal is is going to be responsible or is responsible for a lot of the uh, weather anomalies that uh, that we're feeling or going through right now. But anyways, uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I have more things like this. Take care.